Okay, hello, hello everybody. Today we're going to be making a soap that was had, I got a special request for a soap. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of taking creative uh, license with it because all he said was a dandelion soap. And I'm sure he meant dandelion design. But as you can see here, I decided to go with dandelion tea. And we're also going to do some honey. And since the honey is going to accelerate, we're going to wait to put that in until we've split the batch into two because of my fragrance oil is also going to accelerate. Um, I'm using hibiscus and honey and I've never used that before. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be a problem. I'm also hoping this dandelion is not going to accelerate it either. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and just pour off. I've got rose clay with some pink like raspberry mica and then french green clay with a little bit of yellow now i don't know what this is going to turn into it's just kind of an experiment i really wanted like green and yellow but the french green clay didn't really look all that green to me but it may turn green after i put this open it I, I don't know so we're going to find out and we're going to just cross our fingers and say our prayers that this works out Okay, so here we go. This is going to be a flat top soap. I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Pour this in. Let's just go ahead and pour even parts. Or as even as we can into both. And see how it goes. And then I'm going to put honey in one at a time. And I'm going to put the fragrance oil in one at a time. Now we're going to start with the pink because this is just going to be two layers. This is just going to be two layers. So I'm going to go ahead and put some honey in here and the fragrance oil. And then we are going to hope, hope for the best. Don't put too much. Um, yeah, about that much. And then the fragrance oil. Let me go ahead and mix this up a little bit. It's going to be interesting because the pink, the rose clay has a color on its own, and then I added some pink. Okay, the only problem with this is the yellow, I can't really mix the yellow and the pink, so I'm going to have to get another stick blender head. But you know what? So far, it's not accelerating too bad. Maybe I'm going to be, be okay with this one. Because it says accelerates, but... Yeah, actually, it seems to be going pretty well. So let me not push my luck. Let me just go ahead and pour it in. Let me see if you guys can see. Yeah, there we go. There's a little bit more of the acceleration, but not too bad, <clears throat> considering considering it actually says acceleration. Never know what to expect. And it is a floral, which, you know, florals do tend to accelerate pretty good. Smells good, though. I've never used this one. This is from Brambleberry, and I think I really like it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just kind of tap this a little bit and maybe just spritz a little bit so that we can see about getting some of those bubbles popped. And I think I'm just going to texture just a little bit. The top doesn't have to be anything fancy, just give it a little bit of kind of texture. I'm not very good at texturing. It's okay though. This is not going to be perfect. Let's just hope this other layer has not set up at all. Okay, let me get another blender head because I don't want that to mix the color. And then we're going to go ahead and do the honey. Oh, what do I feel rushed?
I haven't even added the fragrance oil to this one yet. Okay, that'll be good. And I'm going to go ahead. You can see that it's a little, a little green, which is kind of cool. I don't think it's going to be yellow, yellow. Um, cause I think the French green clay actually is a little bit green. And I think if I did not added the yellow, maybe it would have turned a little more green. Would have been cool to find out. Next time I'll experiment with the green and see what happens. Okay. See, it's got some clay in here, which has not been quite incorporated. Come on, clay mix up here. Um, and then we don't want to push our luck. So we're going to go ahead and pour it. Because this pink one should be set up enough. Ooh, this is fun. I really wanted, like, yellow and green. But I think I already said that. But that's okay. It's almost like there's some pink in the middle there. I wonder what happened. So then we're going to do a technique, which I've always wanted to do, which is since it's got honey in it, we're going to do the bubble wrap and we're going to make it look like a honeycomb. So I'm so excited because I've never done that before. And I see people do it all the time and I've always wanted to do it. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay, it does start to accelerate after a minute, but you do have a few seconds. So it's not like a major rush. Um... Kind of cool, kind of cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is put the honeycomb on. Or I should say bubble wrap here. Let's see how this goes. And then I guess I'm just going to kind of do... Oh, interesting. Um... How much do I have to press it down? I've never done this. Uh, I think that's good. Right. And the last thing I want to do is put, these are some mustard seeds. Because I think they'll go well. Just a little something for the other side. I don't have any like gold bursting beads. But I bought mustard seeds because, you know, they say if you have faith as small as mustard seed, it shall be, it shall be done or whatever that saying is that, Biblical. Um, sorry, I can't really think when I'm soaping. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so we're just going to put a few extra on here because I think that they might fall off a little bit. So I don't think that's going to be so cute because it almost kind of looks like pollen, like bee pollen. The mustard seeds. So, yay. All right, so tomorrow we will cut into this beauty and we will see what it looks like on the inside. See you guys in 24 hours. Okay, so it hasn't been 24 hours yet, but I just remembered something that I realized. I just realized something that I wanted to do, and that is pour some melt and pour in like a kind of ambery brown color over the honeycomb and try to make it look like honey. I saw somebody else do this, and I think it'll just really make it stand out a little more. So that mustard seed looks like bee pollen so much in real life. I didn't intend it to do that, but I'm so glad I used that. Okay, so well, look at the color of the actual, it's not quite as yellow. That's interesting. Well, hopefully the um, honey color will make it look really good. I've never done this before. And I don't know how I feel about it. I guess it kind of looks like a honeycomb. Let me go heat up my melt and pour and then we'll add some color. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this copper penny. But then I'm also going to try to do a little bit of liquid soap color. Because liquid soap color, if you get it the right proportions, we're going to use a tiny bit of yellow. And then a tiny bit of like... 
let's see, let's use a little bit of orange. I don't have like a brown. But if we use a tiny bit of orange, maybe some red. If I have red. I got a cherry. So let me use like a cherry. I don't know if this is going to just ruin it. Um, well, let's see what we get. Let's see. Ooh. It's pretty. I think the problem is the mica is actually shimmery. Okay, this is kind of turning out pretty good. Um, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Does it look like honey, though? Kind of does. Kind of does a little bit. Maybe I add another drop of each. Try to get it a little bit darker. Yeah. Oh, that's so gorgeous, though. So let me do... Let me do one of each. I'm going to do one of the yellow. One of the red. This lip... Oh, or two of the red. Okay, well, let's see what that turns out to be. Two of the red might have been the right choice. Oh, that's so pretty. It's really darkening up. I don't know if it's turning out the color of honey. I think I need a little more brown. But in order to get brown with red... Oh, let's see. Alexa, what colors make brown? Brown is the result of mixing any primary color with its complementary color. So you can make brown from mixing blue with orange purple with yellow or red with green okay let's try a blue just the tiniest tiniest drop that don't ruin it uh, okay and I don't even know if that's that might actually be like black not blue but it's supposed to be blue oh my gosh oh my gosh look at the green Oh, that's actually, I feel like that's kind of working. I don't know if that's black or blue. It's supposed to be blue and red. If you mix blue and red, she said if you mix two complementary colors, um, then you'll get brown. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at it. Uh, it's kind of an interesting kind of an interesting look. The question is, does it look like honey kind of all right let's just go ahead and do it i think it'll work i'm just gonna actually add one more drop of yellow i think because see she said um orange and blue and i kind of made an orange by mixing the red and the yellow and the orange together like i kind of made an orange so um okay let's see Ooh. Yeah, it's a little bit of a red honey, but it kind of works. Probably if I added like another drop of blue, it would be perfect. I just woke up too, guys. So if you, my voice sounds a little bit uh, stiff. Okay, let's just kind of make it like... Random. I kind of want it on the bee pollen part too, because that might help the bee pollen stick. Just try not to get any bubbles. And just try to fill in some of these holes a little bit. Yes, this looks like honey. This definitely looks like honey. And I want to add, like, more, though. Kind of just want it to be covered in honey. I hope the inside of this soap is pretty. It kind of looks a little, like, dingy right here on this top part where I put the bubble wrap. I'm hoping that's just because it was covered and not what the inside's going to look like. Because the top is very yellow. And I like that. I like that the top is very yellow. 
This is very nice. I like this. This is, I think I got the perfect honey color. I wish I had somewhere to put this melt and pour, though. I'll have to get some honey um, in bed molds so that we can do little honeycombs on the top next time. And I also want to get some, like, dandelions. Okay, I think this is good. Let's just get a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I don't really know how much will make it look good. Um, yeah, we don't want to cover up too much of the, um, the bee pollen. That's what I'm calling it. The mustard seeds. They totally look like bee pollen, though. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I got a bunch of extra and that actually worked out perfectly for what I was doing with the brown and the orange. I think that's gorgeous. So I used a little tiny little bit of copper penny and then some of these little soap colors in the lemon, cherry, and tangerine. And also the black currant. Currant? I don't know. Um, to kind of try to make it a little more brownish. And I think it's perfect. Let's, let's compare, shall we? Yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty darn close. It's a little more orangey, but you know what? I like it. I think it's great. All right, we'll be back soon to cut it then. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this real quick. I think it's ready. Um, it has not been like 18 hours, but with the honey and everything, it should have like really accelerated. I'm going to turn it the other way, though, because those mustard seeds are going to create some drag marks if I'm not careful. Okay, so I just have to kind of eyeball it and see if I'm going to... i got to go slow for the melt and pour so that I don't, like, break it. I don't want to snap any of that melt and pour off. And we also don't want to create drag marks, so if I go slow, then the mustard seeds might not get caught. Oh, we're losing some of the honey. It's okay, not too much, honestly. <laughs> okay, here's hoping that the yellow isn't so ugly. Ooh, um, hmm, I kind of like it. Not a lot of texture in the pink, though. Also, the pink is not very... See, there's more texture there. Just that one bar that I managed to pull out. Okay, see, the green, that's the clay. Didn't quite get incorporated. Also, I keep forgetting to cut the edges first, um, which I've seen people do. And for some reason, I just can't remember to do that. So... Yeah, we'll have to see what color it turns into, I think, overall for a dandelion and honey soap. I think I like it. I think it works. Um, very pretty. And the honey on top and the honeycomb, I mean, that's super cute. So I'm going to go take some pictures. I also need to tell you guys that I do plan on having a sale. There's not as much texture as I would have liked. I want to do, I have a lot of inventory that I need to um, offload here. And so I want to do a site-wide sale. And I want to know what you guys think of that. Just leave me a comment down below. How much time do you need, you know, to process? Like if you need to save up and like say I want to do a month from now or, you know, just do it in, in a week so that I can get the sale right away. Um, or do you think you need time? Uh, it's going to be 20% off and it's going to be 20% off the entire website. So oh, I, I really basically just want to sell pretty much as much inventory as I can. And then that way we can kind of get started restocking with some new stuff and not have all this older stuff just sitting around. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.